And the Debrinic Channel is back, and today we are talking about the Colorado River. We got the Colorado River update here. We got the Flaming Gorge. We have Lake Navajo. We have Blue Mesa, Lake Powell, Lake Mead, Lake Mojave, and last but not least, my favorite, Lake Havasu. Let's get going. We will be talking about the snow pack, and it's pretty impressive for this time of year. There's plenty to talk about. It's not nearly as impressive as it is in California, but it's still above normal, so so that is a positive and we will be talking about that. So stay tuned. That will be towards the end. We'll be doing a quick update on the weather in the middle. And with that being said, let's roll on out. And I want to talk about the percentage of capacity first. Here we are and we had the Flaming Gorge, Blue Mesa, Navajo, Strawberry, McPhee, Pal, Lake Mead, Mojave, Havasu in total. Your first one comes in at Flaming Gorge and it's probably one of the best ones upriver. It's doing a 69.63 percent of capacity currently and then we go to blue mesa blue mesa is 32.36 it has lost a lot since they released the water down to pal to keep it going and then we have lake navajo lake navajo is currently at 51.04 percent then we go to strawberry reservoir and it's currently at 72.24 percent then we go to mcphee and mcphee's at 48.21 percent and then we go to pal and it, it has fallen quite a bit at 23.98 it's lower than it was this time last year I will tell you that then we go to Lake Mead and it's currently at 28.68 percent then we go to Lake Mojave and it's at 79.65 percent that's down from usually runs in the 90s so that's way down compared to where it normally is then we go to Havasu and it's currently at 95.33 percent so it's pretty full then we go to the total so far and the total is up a little bit at 33.96 percent so let's roll out to the flaming Gorge dashboard and I'll try to get through this as quick as possible tonight. Here we are at the Flaming Gorge dashboard and we're going to click on Flaming Gorge here in 2021, 22, and 23 and here's your current water level 6,005.89. Tuesday, March 21st, 2023 at 12 a.m. the level is 34.11 feet below full pool of 6,040. Changes since yesterday. This thing's down 0.04 feet. Here we are in your full pools all always 6047 in 2021 the level was 6025.03 feet 2022 the level was 6018.31 today the level is at 6005.86 inactive pools 5871 dead pool is 5740 flaming gorge is down 12.45 feet from one year ago flaming gorge is down 19.17 feet from two years ago flaming gorge is 134.86 feet from an active pool. Flaming Gorge is 265.86 feet from Deadpool. Your inflows and your outflows at Flaming Gorge, your current inflows is 960, your outflows are 915. Flaming Gorge is up 0.16 feet in the last 14 days, so that's good news. We definitely need it to come up in a lot more, so we'll continue to roll here. And we continue to roll. We're at Lake Navajo here, and you can see that it it has really started to climb and that's fantastic news this is good things to come and you look let me get the laser pointer out here so I can show you what I'm talking about like right here it's really come up and you can see that it's come up a lot quicker than it has in the past usually it doesn't start to rise till around May or so so this is good news for a change it's starting to increase and it's increasing rapidly compared to what it has in the past it has started to increase about mid-April before and then also right around May 1st here in 2021 so this is good news for a change now it really hasn't been that warm so it's kind of interesting that it's already starting to climb this quickly so let's continue to roll I'll turn the pin off here water level at Lake Navajo is 6,022.13 feet MSL Tuesday March 21st 2023 12 a.m. the level is 62.87 feet below full pool of 6,085 and we continue to roll on changes since yesterday the lake is is up a 0.37 feet 
so it really come up quite a bit and that has to do with the heavy snowpack up in the Rocky Mountains so that's good news and Lake Navajo has really had a lot more water in it lately so this is fantastic news we'll be watching this to see if it continues to rise I'm sure it will Lake Navajo's full pool level 6085 in 2021 it was 6033.43 2022 the level was 6017.81 last year the level was 6022.13 and your Deadpool level is 5775 Lake Navajo is down 1.10 feet from one year ago Lake Navajo is down 17.47 feet from two years ago Lake Navajo is 242.58 feet from Deadpool Lake Navajo is up 4.30 in the last 14 days and Lake Navajo's outflows are 279 and their inflows are 2049 and we continue to roll on down and we're at Blue Mesa the water level at Blue Mesa 7448.37 feet MSL Tuesday March 21st 2023 at 12 a.m. the level 70.63 feet below full pool of 7519 changes since yesterday up 0.08 feet and the last four years here 2020 2021 2022 2023 your full pool is always 7519 and in 2020 the level was at 7484.55 feet 2021 the level was at 7465.88 feet 2022 the level was 7435.39 feet 2023 the level was 7448 Point three seven feet. Your Deadpool is 7,358 feet. Blue Mesa is up 12.98 feet from one year ago. Blue Mesa is down 17.51 feet from two years ago. Blue Mesa is down 36.18 feet from three years ago. Blue Mesa is 90.37 feet from Deadpool, so it has come up in the last year 12.98 feet. That's fantastic. Let's check the inflows and outflows next. Your current inflows are 498. Your current outflows are 276, so we are doing fairly well on that. And Blue Mesa is up 0.78 in the last 14 days, almost a foot. That's pretty good. Let's go to Lake Powell and Lake Powell here we are and Lake Powell's water level is currently 3,521.53 feet MSL Tuesday March 21st 2023 12 a.m. the level is 178.95 feet below full pool of 37 changes since yesterday 0.07 we'll check the last three years here for your full pool levels always in forever 3700 until the dam changes and here we are in the last three years your 2000 2021 your level was 3569.17 2022 the level was 3524.17 today's level is 3521.05 and inactive pool is 3490 your dead pool is 3370 and we continue to roll on here lake pal is down 3.21 feet from one year ago lake pal is down 48.12 feet from two years ago lake pal is 31 1.05 feet from an active pool and Lake Powell is 151.05 from Deadpool. Your inflows are currently 10,406. Your outflows are 8,162. Lake Powell is up 0.43 in the last 14 days and it is time to go check that weather forecast for the upper Colorado and, and talk about the good news coming. So let's roll on out. So this has been a pretty consistent theme. I know I've talked a lot about California over the last several weeks for good reason. They have received a ton of precipitation. I have touched base on the Colorado River every now and again and you can see right here like they are getting a ton of precipitation coming up. This is a lot for the Rockies. Two inches of rain in the next 10 days and the GFS has been more spot on and you can see I'm at the GFS here and you can see that Steamboat Springs is going to get around two inches of rain. Aspen is going to get about 1.69. Grand Junction is going to get about 1.69. Montrose is going to get about 1.37. Telluride is going to get about 1.38. So this is fantastic news. Even over here by the Salt Lake City, they're going to get 
866 for my friend Teresa over there. And then we scoot up here towards the beginning of the Green River, and you can see that they're going to get around 1.53 inches. So this is not like California rains over here that they've been getting, but this atmospheric river has been spilling over, and it hasn't been as strong because the mountains tear it up, but yet they have been getting precipitation, and it's been a pretty consistent basis. So new snow, and you can see like right here, they're talking about another 25 inches. Vell, Steamboat Springs, 17. Aspen, 15.4. Montrose, 12. Telluride, 12.3. Cortez, 7. Even a little town of Page over here, they're going to get 2.3. You can see Salt Lake City supposed to get about 18.5. So this is pretty decent. Other than Rock Springs, only supposed to get a modest 6.1. The whole thing here is, is that they've been getting a ton of precipitation, and this is fantastic news. So hopefully this wet pattern will continue from all counts it probably going to. The European is calling for pretty similar amounts, so we'll be watching to see if that comes to pass. And let's go look at the GFS in real time on Tropical Tidbits next. Here we are at Tropical Tidbits, and you can see the storm that came through, and then we continue to roll. You can see that it starts to move away. More precipitation for California, and we continue to roll. You can see there's a high pressure here, and then we are at 30 hours. Here comes some more precipitation for Utah and Colorado, a little bit in Arizona as well. It's kind of a messy low. There's a low here, but there's precipitation in Utah that's coming, and it rolls out. We're at 54 hours, and then it turns to snow. You can see it starts to scoot away. It's like a high pressure, but it's kind of a dirty high pressure. There's some more precipitation here at 102 hours mark and here comes another powerful storm towards california you can see it scooting in and we continue to roll on another powerful storm at 144 hours and that spills over to the colorado river area so that's good news we are at 180 hours out and you can see a low pressure develops right here and a decent swath up at 198 hours so we continue to roll on we're about halfway through this let's see what else happens here there's another storm brewing here and it's going to come into white Wyoming and northern Utah, Oregon, and a little bit is breaking out here in the Colorado River system. So that's good news. We keep on scooting here. You can see that it keeps snowing here. And then another low pressure breaks out at the 312 hour mark. And another low pressure down here, which is causing a lot of snow in Nevada, Utah, and Colorado, a little bit in Wyoming as well. Even over on the other side of the divide over here in Nebraska. And see this really turns into a little low here, 106 millibars. Nothing really hardcore, but it's still snowing there. It snows there almost every day, it seems like. And then it starts to scoot away. You can see California finally starting to dry out. We're at 372, 378, 384. And California finally going to start to dry out. Look at the Midwest possibly this is a long way out so let's continue to roll back to the graphs and we will go out to Lake Mead next we are at Lake Mead's dashboard and we are back and I hope you have seen that the weather is going to help Lake Mead however they're they're already peak for the year as they normally do in the winter time that's usually when they peak and let's get right into it here and you can see that the current water level is 1045.93 feet MSL Tuesday March 22nd 2023 at 2 p.m. the level is 183.07 feet below full pool of 1,229. Changes since yesterday. This thing hasn't come up and it hasn't gone down. It stands at 0, 0.00 feet. And your full pool level is 1,229. In 2021, the level was 1,084.78 feet. Last year was 1,063.30 feet. Today's level is 1,045 feet. And your inactive pool is 950. And your dead pool is 895 and we continue to roll one year ago the level was 17.37 feet higher two years ago the level was 38.85 feet higher inactive pools 95.93 feet dead pools 150.93 feet your inflows are currently 12,071 your outflows are currently 13,351 and lake mead is down at 0 0.60 feet over the last 14 days like i said it has already peaked and now we're at Lake Mojave's dashboard here, and we're going to continue to roll on 2021, 2022, and 2023. And your current water level is 643.65 feet. 
Tuesday, March 21st, 2023 at 4.45 p.m. The level is 3.35 feet below full pool of 647. Changes since yesterday. This thing's up 0.09 feet and we continue to roll on in top of the spillway, 647. In 2021, the level was 642.79. Last year was 642.67. Today's level 643.65 and your dead pool is 533 feet. The lake is down from one year ago 0.12 feet two years ago the lake's down at 0.98 feet deadpool's 110.65 feet away and we go to your inflows and your outflows and your current inflows are 13,879 and your outflows are 8,997 lake mojave is down at 0.64 feet over the last 14 measurements and we are now at lake havasu's dashboard and we go out to the dashboard and your current water level at lake havasu is 448.21 448.21 feet MSL. Wednesday, March 22nd, 2023 at 2.30 p.m. The level is 3.21 feet above full pool at 445. Changes since yesterday. The lake is up 0.25 feet. And we go to your full pool level is 445. The level in 2021 was 448.40. Last year was 448.29. And today's level is 448.21. And the level is 400. 40 feet from power loss and 400 feet from Deadpool. Lake Havasu, the lake is down at 0.08 feet from one year ago. The lake is down 0.19 feet from two years ago. Power loss is 8.21 feet away and Deadpool is 48.21 feet away your inflows and your outflows at lake havasu are currently 8130 in and 7899 out and the lake is down 0.29 feet in the last 14 days and the last thing i have for you tonight is we're going to go talk about the snowpack and we are going to do that now and here we are and you can see in the last 10 years they are higher than they have been percentage across the upper Colorado Basin is 139.89% and that's the whole basin as a whole, the upper Colorado. And wow, that's pretty, pretty impressive. It's come up quite a bit and wow, I never thought it would get above 2019, but it has and it's going to continue that way. At least it beat it this year. So that's fantastic news. It's good news. Too bad it wasn't more like California water levels, but it is what it is. So we're glad that La Nina is over. It's been stronghold for three years, and I'm here to report that La Nina is over. We're going to a neutral, heading towards an El Nino. So the next, hopefully we get it for two, three, four, or five years would be fantastic. I told you the weather always changes. You can tell by these graphs how often they change the last couple were 2017 and 19. The Colorado reflects what California does to a degree. It definitely helps. So we're happy to have El Nino heading back towards us. And maybe it'll last for a couple years. It was here in 83. Now it's 2023. It was also here in 1984. So maybe next year as well. So maybe we could possibly have even more snow next year than we had this year and head towards a positive for a change and maybe we can kick this drought in the rear end and scoot it on down the way i told you guys last year nobody seemed to believe me that the weather changes but here we are the weather has changed and that's good for your april 6th date you're at a 30.86 and you can see some of these are even higher so your snow percentage 154 174 158 166 so this is like all over the place but it takes an average of this and it adds it all up and this is what we got so that's all i have thank you guys for stopping by i hope you enjoyed the video it's kind of long but these colorado river updates they take me all day dig near to fill out i got off work a little early so i was able to get it done and that's all i have and with that being said you You guys have a blessed day and we will see you on the next one. God bless.